Let's see how well Julia Morris does at some improv on Thank God You're Here. Now, if you do enjoy this, make sure you like and subscribe. OK, right now it's time to invite another first-timer onto the stage. She's an Aussie comedian who made the move to the UK, where she's not only a comedy success, but was also finally recognised as nobility. Please welcome the Lady of the Manor of Gosforth. Oh, yeah, the fabulous Julia Morris. Now, I don't actually know who Julia Morris is. I've heard of the name, and I cannot work out what I've seen her in, but I definitely know the name. But it looks like this scene, she has gone shopping. Shopping, shopping, and we... I think I've just stepped into my life in the late 80s. <laughs> 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 now, I've got to give you these. Oh, you want to take a bite? Yeah. There you go. Mm. Fetch! <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Sorry, I'm just so done. Is that You're... how I shut up? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, Dal. It's lucky I've got all my own teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to have the best time. Do you realise what a good time you're going to have on the I'm other very side of that door? Well, don't be, because mm. you're going to have a ball. Julia Morris, mm. good luck. You're, I'm going to open the door for you. Oh, honey. Good luck, darling. Thank you. And Joy, oh. see you on the other side. Wow. Thank God you're here. It's just every time, the one of the best bits, I think, actually, is when the door opens and they walk in, and it's that, what's going on? I love that first moment. <laughs> every time you go out, I miss you. Oh. So much. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> How much have you been missing me? Mm -hmm. I have been missing you madly, to be honest. Seriously, all day you've been on my mind. Yeah, I can see. It's <laughs> just one tinsy, tinsy problem. Can you guess what it is? The big thing or the little thing? <laughs> I'm talking about the fact that you went out to get some milk and bread and you've come back home with this. <laughs> Why? I've got some issues. <laughs> Where is the milk and bread? Uh, it I think I left it in Cose Ipanema. We need to have a talk, all right? Yeah, no, we do. Seriously, we do. Do you know who I got a call from this afternoon? Yeah, no, tell me everything. The bank manager. Uh-oh. He suggested that I have a look through our credit card statement. Why is it 18 pages long? <laughs> uh, they had some printer problems, and um, I think a couple of those pages are doubled. Why don't... Is this not a problem in most married life? Uh, I know certainly, I, I know, I've had to tell Charlie, stop spending so much money. Uh, because I think people just get out of control, don't they? And shopping, I find this with Amazon. This is a serious problem with Amazon. It's so easy to get quick, those endorphins, quick release of them, just by clicking that button to buy something. And it's quite often stuff you do not need. This is always a tricky conversation to have. Why don't we just go through it then? Do you want to? Do yeah. you want to? I'm not sure. <laughs> Here, Emporium Italia, $8,000, 12 handbags. Why do you need a dozen different handbags? I've got a lot of lipstick. <laughs> I can see that you've actually bought me something here. I have. A cigar humidor. That is nice. I don't smoke. No, no, but when you do, they'll be humid. <laughs> All right, well, why don't we have a look at what's in these, then? Shall we do that? Look at this. Please don't be cross with me. Ski gear. Yes. We don't ski. No, we don't, but sometimes it gets very chilly in the late afternoons. <laughs> I see. All right. Children's clothing. We that, don't have kids. I know, but I just... They fitted in the shop. And... <laughs> and that is on top of what you'd spent last month, which you still haven't explained what, what this is for. That is an upside-down coat hanger, and you can take some time to hang your clothes over backwards like that. And that's how it... It does some stuff like that. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, Christmas. And that... Um, <laughs> Well, get me ready for when you come home in the evenings. <laughs> OK, I, I see. We agreed to start saving, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. Now, I have cut back on beer and wine. What have you cut back on? Lighting. <laughs> Darling, please, 
I know you have a compulsion to shop. <laughs> you remember what the psychiatrist called it? He called it fat lady syndrome. <laughs> yes, and he also gave you a technique for combating this, this urge to shop. I know, I've got to do all the meditations and all these type of issues, but seriously, I don't have the time. There's just too much to shop for. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. She was very good, uh, very quick. Um, it, it, it's great because you can see their minds thinking. You could, it's almost an x-ray on their brains ticking, thinking what they're going to say. She did a very good job, actually. But it does highlight a serious issue, doesn't it? Yeah, it would. <laughs> 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 it's you. You've got this for you, Tony times have I had that exact conversation? That really wasn't hard for me. See? Even she admits that it's a, it's, a, it, it's a serious conversation that often happens because one person in the relationship likes to, you know, buy things. <laughs> that was so real, Tom. <laughs> yeah, Julie, you used a technique we've never had before on the show. Someone, uh, Dan, asked you a question and you said, tell me everything. <laughs> That's not the way it works. You've no, got to work it out. I know, but I get confused because I'm not very bright. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, a fabulous performance. A woman who saves by cutting down on lighting, yeah. I think, is an inspiration for the big spenders oh, amongst yes. us all. I'm going to give you top marks and a thousand flyby oh, points. Well done. Thank you. Julie Morris, thank God thank you. Well, how do you think she did in comparison to some of the others? Um, I think she was pretty good. But like, like the guy at the table said, um, you di she didn't really create much. It was more of, yeah, OK, you tell me what's in the bags uh, rather than using her own sort of improv skills. So maybe that's a, a couple of minus points on that one. But another good one. This is a great show. Thank God you're here. Uh, all about the improv, about going into a situation which you have no idea about and it creates some amazing, amazing scenes. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it funny, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and I will catch you next time.